Ladies and gentlemen, federal workers and injured federal workers, Riverdale Wellness proudly presents to you the Injured Federal Workers Podcast. Good afternoon, everybody, and how are we today? I'm Dr. Mark Eisen. The purpose of today's workshop and all workshops is to educate, entertain, and inform all you federal workers out there. Because guess what? You never know when you'll need the information the most. People do get hurt. They can get into car accidents. They can have all different types of accidents that are on the job. So I've come across so many federal workers over the years that have been injured on the job, and they had no clue what to do. Guess what? I'm here to help. This workshop, this podcast is here to help you. So please subscribe and share so your federal coworkers know the information that they will need when they get injured on the job. Let us continue with our show. So today's episode, we will talk about what do you do when you get hurt on the job? So let's give an example. Where do we begin? Person's a letter carrier working in a building, delivering mail, going up flights of stairs and down flights of stairs. And one day, the person has trauma. They slip and fall down a flight of stairs in a residence building. So what do you do? That's how the injury has begun. What do you do? Well, first thing you will do is you're gonna call your supervisor. Let them know that you got hurt. Then you will look around you and see if anyone witnessed the injury or heard the sounds, or witnessed you fall. Get their name, get their address, get their phone number, because you're gonna need them as your witnesses that you got hurt on the job. Because people wanna complain and say they got injured all the time. But if you were legitimately hurt, then you have eyewitnesses that can testify that you got hurt. Guess what? On the paperwork that you're gonna have to send to the Department of Labor, one of the questions that's asked is fact of injury. Did the facts actually occur? Well, now that you have a witness to it, the facts actually occurred. Now your supervisor comes and gets you. What do you do next? You go to the emergency room. That legitimizes your claim that you were legitimately hurt. Afterwards, you'll fill out a CA-1. That is the paperwork for traumatic injury. A CA-1 is necessary to be completed so that the federal government can pay for your care. And at the bottom, you have two options, COP. You wanna fill out COP so you have continuation of pay because if you are legitimately hurt and you can't go to work, you want to be paid for your time out of work. That's called continuation of pay, and they will pay for 45 days. Those are the first things that one needs to do when filling out the CA-1. Again, you get injured, you get look for witnesses, you call your supervisor, go to the emergency room, then you fill out your CA-1. What's next? Guess what? Tune in to next week's episode and you'll find out what's next. There always has to be a cliffhanger. Let's go to commercial break and find out what's next when we come back. If you've been injured working for the federal government, you need an experienced federal workers compensation doctor to help you with your DOL OWCP injury claim. Call the experienced DOL doctors at Riverdale Wellness Group and schedule a free consultation. Our incredible team of federal workers' compensation experts will help you get all the injury care and treatment you need. Our staff will also work with your adjuster, expedite your case by sending your paperwork to claims examiner via e-comp, and make sure you filed correctly and get all of the compensation benefits you deserve, including your COP. We will make sure the five factors are covered in your medical report. Don't let an inexperienced doctor jeopardize your claim. 
Call the best DOL doctors today at 718-601-1540 or visit us online at riverdalewellness.com. 